Hello, and today we are going to be talking about Tropical Storm Epsilon. Not much the slight risk, because as of the conditions right now, uh, it looks like it'll just become a tropical storm. But if the conditions do get more favorable, I do expect it to be much stronger. Here are the intensity guidances model, models, and it shows that it will be a category one-ish. As you can see here, it is not going to hit any land at all. It'll be probably a category one or two just lingering out in the ocean. Uh, but then if the slight risk forms, it'll only become a tropical storm. But we are not done yet with major hurricanes. Here is the satellite imagery for Epsilon. As you can see, there's lots of convection forming with the storm. It's only at one side though, so it's definitely not all that organized. Here I am taking a screenshot, um, full page there. Ooh. Okay, so get it set. All right, there, right there, you can see a little dot of convection. Then there is a very big area of convection actually uh as i am going to circle right here you can see that there's a large area of convection in the heart of the storm and even a little bit on the south eastern end sorry about that slightly when I was talking, but here's the satellite imagery I was talking about with all that convection kind of forming in it and is only half, like one side has it, has that uh, convection, so it's very disorganized. Why do I say that the season is not coming to an end? Well, it sure seems like it's weakening. Well, we still have in the Gulf sea surface temperatures capable of, uh, if all the other conditions fall just right, which they may here soon, if they all fall just right, we have sea surface temperatures high enough to support category fives through November. Now, here is the sea surface temperature anomalies. As you can see, we have above average sea surface temperatures in much of the Gulf and almost all of the Atlantic. We are in La Nina status. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video.